Well, it is difficult to talk to constituents about IP and indeed parliamentarians as well. Most people aren't really too sure what intellectual property means or stands for and they're not sure how it affects their daily lives when you do expect, you know, you try and explain it's about copyright protection and ideas and all these things. Um, and they like to get something tangible about it. So I try and sort of uh, put it onto something personal. I usually say, what music do you like or what films do you like going to see? And uh, if we were allowing these to be free, do you think they would actually be produced or do you think people would do it? And by that, they then start to say, oh yeah, I understand why we need to protect it. Um, I also make it, uh, if I may, also make it quite personal in that, I mean, uh, Britain's one of only three countries of the world that net exporters of music. And so it helps pay for things like our NHS and other services that we treasure de dearly. So sometimes I say to them, if you've got a grandmother in the hospital or whatever, you know, that kind of helps pay for it as well, all the, all the money that's generated from the creative industries. So it's important that we uh, protect that and actually nurture it. Otherwise, we're going to have to raise taxes or borrow more and the whole society will be worse off. So it'll be worse off culturally and financially. So it's that important. Well, anything that has any ideas is IP intensive. So anyone who likes to be rewarded for what they're doing, you've got to say there's intellectual property attached to it. And be that design of a handbag or music or film or, or pharmaceuticals, it just covers every facet of life. And uh, as much as some people say, well, it should be all open and free on the internet, and wouldn't it be great if all the music was available for free? The answer is no, it wouldn't, because at the end of the day, we do live in a society where people do need to live. They do need to uh, have their efforts rewarded. And uh, there will be some, of course, that would do it for the love of what they're doing. But they're a very small fraction, because at the end of the day, we do need to, uh, people do need to be able to live and, and, and protect what they're doing. So uh, it's, it's something that it just goes through every aspect of life. I would say if you go back four years or maybe longer than that, there was, there was, there was some sort of general awareness, but it wasn't really a passionate awareness. I think we've raised the temperature quite a bit. And I was really pleased when the Prime Minister appointed me his IP advisor, because it showed that the Prime Minister really does care about it. We heard Ed Vasey, uh, Minister, yesterday saying exactly the same thing, that the Prime Minister takes now a keen interest in it. I'm sure he did before, but it's raised the temperature and it's raised the awareness amongst leg the, the legislation that goes through. The last one we had through the IP bill, it went through uh, with joint cooperation from both sides of the House to generally good acclaim. And uh, we didn't have to explain that IP was that important anymore. People get it and it's what we're going to do to make sure that we can protect and nurture.